And we back. What birth year has the best NBA players? That is the question we are trying to answer today. I put together 27 or 26 teams. I forgot. 26 or 27 different teams where every single player on that roster corresponds with their birth year. For example, the 76ers are the 2000 season. Or not 2000 season. 2000 years. So it's Tyrese Halliburton, Zion Williamson, Tyrese Maxey, Darius Garland, so on and so forth. Now, this took me a very long time to prep for. Make sure I got everybody's year right and on the right team and so on and so forth. And I'm going to show you all the rosters, of course. And I want you to comment down below which team you believe is going to go on and win a championship. Because there are a few surprises in this one. And some of y'all we're like, well, isn't just your birth year basically your draft class? No, because Ty, uh, Tyrese Halliburton was 2020 while Zion was 2019 and Keegan Murray was 2022. They were all born in the same year, different years in college and so on and so forth. This team is stacked though. This is just the first team. The second team is going to be the 1999 year. It goes in, in order for the most part and I'll explain what it's not. This one has Luca, Ja Morant, Jaron Jackson Jr., Nicholas Claxton, Anthony Simons, Jordan Poole and so on and so forth. I tried to make sure that every single team had at least 10 players that fit the criteria. Some teams, it's harder to find 10 players. Next, we have the 1998 season. My Chicago Bulls have Jason Tatum, which is so cool to say aloud. We know it's not a reality, but we're going to take it for what it is. Uh, we have uh, Jason Tatum, Shea, Trey Young, Desmond Bain, Jared Allen, Michael Porter Jr., and so on. Some teams you're going to find out is going to be top-heavy with guards. Some teams going to have all the centers. Like, it's kind of weird when you see different patterns and stuff. Then we have 1998, I believe. No, this is 1997. Uh, Jason Tatum was 1998. So it's De'Aaron Fox. It is Jamal Murray, Bam Adebayo, Larry Marketing, uh, Brandon Ingram, and others. You can pause if you need to see all of the others. Uh, next, we have the Boston Celtics, which is the team I'm rooting for today because I was born in 1996 alongside Devin Booker, Donovan Mitchell, Jalen Brunson. As you can see, Jalen Brunson and Jalen Brown, um, guard heavy for sure. Their best center is Demont Sabonis, which is pretty good. Now, they're running Mikael Bridges at the four. So basically what you see right here, Jalen Brunson's coming off the bench, maybe the best six man in the league. You're like, well, no, 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 he's not. No, he's not. Spoiler. Uh, but yeah, this team is stacked and I'm excited to see my Boston Celtics 1996ers um, end up winning the championship, hopefully. 1995 is Nikola Jokic, Porzingis. They have all of the bigs. Uh, they got Carthage Town, Zach Levine, but also Aaron Gordon and Kyle Kuzma and Bobby Portis and Jakob Pertl. Their best point guard is Monte Morris. Uh, yeah, their best point guard is Monte Morris. But you have Jokic. So, like, do you need a point guard? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Next, we have the Memphis Grizzlies who have Joel Embiid, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Pascal Siakam, Julius Randle. This team is stacked with international play. Uh, Julius Randle, Derek White, and then Fred Van Vliet, and so on. Then we got the Atlanta Hawks, who have Anthony Davis, Bradley Beal. And this year is kind of the first weak-ish year, because it's really just, as far as all-star talent go, it's like Anthony Davis, and then the few years ago, Bradley Beal, you know? One thing I notice is that we have prime versions of every player, so I just ripped the ID um, from the player. So Kyrie Irving is a 92. I think right now he's an 89 in 2024. Uh, 2K24, but you got like Prime Rudy Gobert, Malcolm Brogdon, and so on and so forth for this team. Also, not a crazy team, but maybe the defense of Rudy and the offensive firepower of Kyrie can carry them a little bit. I don't really know. Next, we have Kawhi Leonard, who I just realized I didn't get the Prime version, but I just got the Prime version of every, every single person in this team. So, it's uh, Kawhi, it's Chris Middleton, and CJ, it's Derek Favors, who Prime version Derek Favors is an 84, according to my... my a database then you got joe harris and so on and so forth this team right here has all of the point guards and they're all so good prime damian lillard prime paul george boogie cousins from puerto rico he's coming from the puerto rican league and he's coming back to the usa to, to hoop again they got prime john wall prime Kemba walker uh prime drew holiday which is basically just current drew holiday prime clay thompson prime draymond green prime gordon hayward vucevic reggie jackson is in his prime form I even downloaded Greg Monroe. So that team has a lot of our favorite players of growing up and stuff. Then we have the uh, Sacramento Kings, who also have a bunch of primers. So we got Jimmy Butler with the, with the dreads. We got Blake Griffin, prime version. Isaiah Thomas, prime version. Whoa. <laughs> Let me go get the right James Harden. That's better. There's prime James Harden. Um, we get... Prime Lee Griffin, Prime, Prime Isaiah Thomas. We had to download Hassan Whiteside because he doesn't exist in the game anymore. Same thing with Brandon Jennings. Um, Tyreek Evans, rookie version of him. Even though he's 33, this is the prime version of Tyreek Evans. He was a rookie and so on and so forth. Uh, then we got this roster right here. These boys right... Oh, well, let me see what year this is. 1988, KD, Steph Curry, Russell Westbrook, Derrick Rose, Kevin Love, DeAndre Jordan, Brooke Lopez, Jeremy Lin... Uh, Jeff Teague, Nicholas Batum, like that team is so crazy. And it's low-key well-balanced. I mean, a lot of point guard play, 
but some well ba a well balanced team a lot of envy this is four mvps right here on this team right now in their prime version I, I, it's gonna be hard to beat that team it's gonna be hard to beat that team next we have this team which is a lot less fun i would say sorry lakers fans 1990 um, 1987 doesn't have a lot for you you do have ye jillian down here so that's something. Time out. I got to tell you about today's sponsor, Air Up. This Air Up bottle holds nothing but water, but with this flavor scented pot, my water now tastes like peach mango. That is not a joke. My normal H2O now tastes like peach and mango. Very simple. You take an Air Up bottle, you put whatever pod you want on top of it, you pull it up to this, and you take a sip. That's all it is. I've been using Air Up for like six months now, and I got like four or five of these bottles across the house because when one's dirty, I still need it. I've always been a guy that's enjoyed water, but like, you, you, you tell me I can add a little bit extra to it for sure. One of the best things is that it's sugar-free, no calories, no junk. It's just a way to promote a healthy lifestyle with more water. I'm always experimenting with different flavors because there's so many to choose from. Again, peach mango is right now. This is, this is probably in my top five. I know there are people out there that struggle with getting their daily water intake. My mom is one of those people. It is the holiday season. I couldn't help myself but to gift my mom an Arab bottle with some pods. I couldn't wait until Christmas because she needed that water now. So I gave it to her yesterday. And I got a, I got a one-day check-in from her. And the only thing she texted me was, I love it. I mean, if, if Mom Dukes is given the, the thumbs of approval, then what else do you need? And Arab has a holiday deal. Their biggest sale in the history of their company, 40% off if you hit the link in the description, and you order between November 20th and November 27th. Wow, I'm gonna have to get my dukes another one, you know what I'm saying? I shout out again to Air Up for sponsoring the video. Let's get back to the action. Orlando is 1986. We have Kyle Lowry, Prime Rajon Rondo, Al Horford, Roy Hibbert, Drogic, and so on. Then we got the uh, the Dallas Mavericks, who low-key have a really good team too. Just a lot of bigs, man, just a lot of bigs. Chris Paul holding it down at the point guard position. You got Marcus. I mean, you got Marcus All. You got Dwight Howard. You got Lamarcus, Paul Millsap. All the bigs. Their best shooting guard is Monte Ellis, and then Luol Dangerous at the wing. But a lot of big positions over there. Then you got Bronze Year, and Bronze Year with Carmelo. You know, the rest of the team is decent for sure. Decent. They got Brandon Roy, Chris Bosh, who should be starting at the center on his roster. Um, Iggy is on the team. Darren Williams, JJ Redick. Uh, Raymond Felton, Dwayne Wade, Tony Parker, uh, No Chill Gill, we got Amari, Tony Allen, a nice defensive, this team has the 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 pieces to be one of the best defensive teams in ball, for sure, um, they also got, you know, DPOY, Tyson Chandler, Kyle Gasol, Yao Ming on the same team, oh my god, Yao Ming's face takes up the entire frame, look at that, you got uh, David West, uh, RJ, they don't have really any guard play at all, like literally, not a point guard in sight, so they're probably going to run Jamal Crawford at the one, RJ at the two, uh, Tayshawn Prince, and then whatever, whatever. Uh, Dirk, Colt, and Kobe. <laughs> Dirk and Kobe. Now, what you will notice, once we get to this point, I didn't go year by year. At that, and, you know, I was going year by year. Every single year was represented. And then we got to like, ah, some of these years is not as good. So I skipped some of them to make sure that we get the best of the best. So this Nuggets team is 1982. The Pacer team is 1980. And then this Pelicans team is 1978. So keep that in mind. I mean, maybe it doesn't matter to you, but I'm just letting you know. Uh, they got Sean Marion, Jermaine O'Neal, Rip Hamilton, Mike Bibby, Shane Battier, uh, Jax, uh, Stephen Jackson, Jamal McGlure, and so on. Then this Pistons team is 1977. Vince Carter, Paul Pierce, Manu Ginobili. You got Steve Francis, Paige Stoyakovich. They don't have any bigs other than um, uh, Kenyon Martin. But another solid roster for sure. A lot of high overall players. Not a single center in sight. So, yeah, it really is Kenya Martin and, like, Paige at the four or Paul Pierce at the four or something. And then the Raptors is 1976. 1976 on the Raptors. And, whoa, you know what I'm saying? And, whoa, uh, they, they, they might make it happen. They got a lot of power forwards. A lot of power forwards. But, like, you know, these dudes can run the center. You know them. And then we start kicking it all the way back, y'all. This is 1965. If they, if this, the way I did it, if they have multiple Hall of Famers, I was going to see if I can fit them in. And that's what we got. We got Scottie Pippen, uh, the Admiral. We got Mitch Richmond, Reggie Miller, uh, Brad Daughtry, um, Dan the Man, and then John Starks. And then Spurs is 1963. The most unfair roster, I believe. MJ, Hakeem, Carmelo, Chris Mullen, 
Joe Dumars, Charles Bark. Like, what do you do? This team is crazy. And then even the bench with Terry Porter, Detlef Shrimp, and, 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 and X-Man, and oh man, this team is crazy. And then we get to some more of the young dudes. These are the young guys in the league. I forget what year it is. Maybe this is 2001, I want to say. 2001, super young roster. Y'all know these guys. Some of these guys are rookies, and some of these guys are sophomore players. Some of them have been in the league for a lot longer than sophomore, going into year three. Um, and then we got this team, which might be 2002. So even, oh, no, 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 no. This is 2002. This is 2001. You see all these guys, 22 years old, so they're a little bit older. Good roster. Good roster. They compete with Michael Jordan's team? Probably not. And then these are the super young players. This is Jalen Duran, Shaden Sharp, Asar Thompson. Yeah, this team don't stand a chance against these other ones, but I had to give them, I had to fill out the roster. So um, that's the entire league. I had to eliminate the Golden State Warriors and the Wizards and Golden State Warriors fans and Wizards fans. It wasn't personal. Your team is just at the bottom of the list. Like, in, in alphabetical order like i said to get rid of two and those are the two and timbo's fans you're like what happened to our team y'all exist you exist you know you're gonna go winless but at least you exist you know so y'all let me know in the comment section which team you think is going to be the best and this should be fun let's go to like let's go to like the first the beginning of the new calendar year january 1st the new york knicks are the best team in the eastern conference what year is this let's take a look it's the team that is really good. Yep. The team that has the MVP uh, MVP coming off the bench. That makes a lot of sense. And now Wes is going to be the Denver Nuggets, who I told this team defensively. I said this team defensively has got all the pieces. Um, it's not MJ and them. I mean, it's tied technically by games back and stuff. But I would expect this team to like be undefeated or close to it or something. But then, you know, eight losses is not too bad. Uh, I told you the Minnesota Timbers were not going to win a game. Um, the Suns, another young team not going to win a game. Another young team not going to win a game. Um, this team is very bad as well. I, I guess I didn't do a great job of balancing the, the, the conferences. But who needs that? Who needs parity? Who needs balance? Not me. Not me. Um, this team has two MVPs on it, and they're, they, they're slightly above 500. Um, out East, though. Out East is still some competitive teams, but like this team, I expected to win some games. They got a couple 90s. Some 86s and 88s and stuff, but you know, they're the worst team because just by somebody has to be the worst, and it happens to be them. Um, this team I expect to be kind of bad with no 90 overall players, a couple 89s, but no 90 overall players. The Cavs team expect them to be a little bit better than that, but who knows, you know, first half jitters or something. Ah, my 1996 team is, is not even in the play in right now. Oh, they got to set their game up, they got to set their game up. All right, okay. Let's see who's going to make the all-star game. Do we care about that? Let's see who's going to make the all-star game. All-star teams are here. It's nothing that is super surprising. There's not a surprising name on this list. Everybody that's here is a, a normal all-star. <laughs> is a very normal all-star player. I, I would say that out of all of these people here, almost all of them made NBA 75. Uh, I don't think Luka ended up making it, right? Because he, I mean, he was going into year four, right, when that was happening. So I don't think he's all NBA 75. Uh, Kyrie technically didn't make it, even though he was. Wink, wink, and they pulled him off. Um, and then Chauncey Billups didn't make it either, I don't believe so. But everybody else is like the best players, 75 players in the league. All right, let's go to the playoffs because that's when things are really going to go down. Pimp, we gave Pimp a team without MJ and he won the MVP at 17, 8, and 7. Oh, I'm sorry, let's round up. 17, 8, and 8 wins MVP in this universe. Yikes. Darren Collison's the rookie of the year averaging 10. Harry Irvin's most clutch. Um, DPOY. Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, it, wait, what the? Why did it start off on DPOY? What the heck? Russell Westbrook won MVP. His numbers are also not ridiculous, but that's MVP numbers. Rookie of the year goes to Sart Thompson. Okay, so this makes way more sense. Gill won six man of the year. Scotty won DPO. Why? Darren Collison won most improved. Okay, that makes way more sense. 72 and 12 for Tom Thibodeau's New York Knicks. And Joyner uh, Wark ends up winning executive of the year. And here we go. New York Knicks. That's, again, this team with Russell Westbrook, with Steph Curry, and you know the roster. The roster was ridiculous. But here are all NBA's um, second teams. Shea ends up making it for the Chicago Bulls. Shout out to him. We love Bulls players around here. Defensive team. Ooh. Oh, I was going to. Yee Jillian. He's got 22. I just downloaded this player. But I, I, like, I didn't even change his badges or nothing. He made an all defensive team. Okay. Over all of the great defenders in this universe right now. Yee Jillian. No disrespect, but like disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, here, here are all the awards and stuff. Who made it? Who didn't? First team out was the Orlando Magic. Uh, two games behind the Atlanta Hawks. The Orlando Magic team was the Rondo team. Also, the Charlotte Hornets, another team right outside. That's the Kawhi Leonard team. Um, they made more noise than I thought they were going to. Just two games out. I'm actually impressed by that. 
1996 team did not make it at all, so that's not fun. And then the uh, one of the first young team on the team on the thing did not make it. 82 season for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Shout out to y'all, but you did get an All NBA uh, All Rookie player. <laughs> That, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. I just can't. I'm not going to disrespect him by mispronouncing his name. Um, a 70 lost team, too. We got a 64 lost team and a 60 lost team. All right. Well, there's a huge gap between the good teams and the bad teams. I say that much. We got two teams tied up top. The winner. Oh, my God. The Pelicans ended the season on a 10 game. Everybody's streaking right now. That's love. All right. So there it is. This team is also really good with Dirk. And, oh, man. All right. Playoffs, man. Playoff time. We looking for game sevens. I'm trying to jump into games. I'm trying to spectate. I'm trying to do all of that, but I will not spectate a game. A game two? No. Only when the stakes are at the exact uh, the highest is when we potentially jump in. At least into the finals. In the finals, we might jump into a game one, game two. We just we just got to get it how we live in the finals. Um, we have two, count them two game sevens to start off with. It is the Nets versus the. Uh, Detroit Pistons. All right. This is LeBron's year versus Paul Pierce. Nope. Vince Carter's year. It's, all, it's always about a top player. Vince Carter's year versus LeBron's year. All right. Let's see if LeBron can make it out of the first round with Carmelo. It's really like those two up top, and then the rest is decent, but not great. And it looks like we got to just make it close, and we'll jump in and watch these two teams duke it out. It is not very close. That is the end of the run for LeBron James and company. They let Manu Ginobili and, and the guys do it, and LeBron had... I'm calling this a sticky game, Bron, just because you're better than taking just 11 shots in a closeout game. So that is the first game seven done. The next one is going to be Wade's team, who's up to a 99, by the way. Wow. Hey, that Utah team is so crazy, bro. This Utah team is so crazy. They got defense, offense, a dominant, potential dominant center. I ain't rooting for nobody, but I hope this is close so I can watch it. And it's not very close to start off with. Dang. This is not beautiful. Um, they can make it a game, though. They did not. They they did? Three-point game? Minute to go? That seemed like something we'll jump into. All right. Who has ball? Okay, so uh, Denver has ball. Uh, if they score right here, I'm not saying it's the icing on the cake, but it's pretty close to it. Here we go. Dwayne Wade trying to get out on Vucevic. Good defense. Vuc staying that chest, sitting that chair. Then we got Gilbert Arenas going against Draymond Green. You know, Draymond Green is pretty clamps. Draymond Green is pretty clamps. Hands up, Dre. Back pass to Jameer Nelson, who gives it up to Dwayne Wade again, who's guarded by Vooch. Vooch is playing great defense on Dwayne Wade to foul. Oh, and he shrugs. That's that's great defense for 22 seconds, and you bailed them out. He makes his free throws. It's almost over. Almost, almost over. Uh-oh, Wade. The pressure is on, 81%, and he missed it. Tyson Chandler, Tony Alligate put into the game for defensive purposes. Good coaching there, Michael Malone. Good coaching. And then the second one is up and in. Probably a timeout coming. Oh, they're going to run it. They're going to run it. Dame is back in the game. Jameel Nelson out. Dame is in. Here we go. Dame. Tony Parker did not get a good contest. It's a one-point game. Damian Lillard. You see the sweat on that? 2K did it. Staying with the sweat. Psych. 2K is not. Start today still doesn't work. So, 2K, I'm not giving you no prop. You Wade hit this one. It's, a, it's still a one-possession game. But you uh, more likely than not, you're not getting walked off. And the second one is up and in. And there's that time that we've been waiting for. I mean, they saved it, right? And then they came out and hit a big shot. So, shout out to Dane. For, and shout out to Coach w Willie Hardy. Yeah, we call him Willie Hardy. Um, for trusting Damian Lillard to get a good shot up. And he did. Three-point game. Dane with the ball. Is there a screen coming from Draymond Green? No, Dame's trying to get to the basket. He gets to the basket. He goes up on Amari Stoudemire like he wasn't there. Dame is a playoff performer, playoff player. Here we go. Foul game is on. TP gets the ball. Now, can Tony be clutch? You know, Draymond might have poked him in the eye knowing Draymond. Yeah, see if you can hit free throws in one eye. All right, he hit the first one. <laughs> that boy TP is different, I guess. The second one is up, and it is also in. No timeouts, and it's really been the Damian Lillard show. He does have Klay Thompson and Paul George on the wings if he needed somebody else to shoot the ball. It's all him. He missed it this time. 6% covered. That might be it, ladies and gentlemen. Not might be. That probably is it, ladies and gentlemen, and it will be. The end of the road for Damian Lillard and company. It is the end of the road. Wow. Um, John Wall fell out? He didn't. John Wall wasn't on the court to end the game because he wasn't a three-point threat, maybe. He was leading y'all in the scoring, so I don't know how, how smart that is. But, hey, I'm not coaching that team. J.B. Bickerstaff was, and they ended up losing. Um, J.B. Bickerstaff was. That's not the, the – nope. Um, Willie Hardy was. And, yeah, here we go to the second round. No upsets, really. I don't call the 4-5 an upset. 
So the best teams are being the best teams right now. Potential game sevens. Come on, I'm rooting for game sevens. Come on, give me one over here too. Give me both game sevens. Ah. All right. Well, Tim Duncan and company did beat the Chicago Bulls. The four-seeded Pistons get beat by the four MVP team. The Spurs are also rolling. This is Michael Jordan. And then now we get this game seven over here where it is Scottie Pippen's team versus Dirk and Kobe because they're both 99. Dirk and Kobe's team. You know what this just made me think? What year was Shaquille O'Neal uh, born? He was born in 72. And 72 did not make the list, unfortunately. Oh, I just didn't have enough great players. It's really Shaq Grant and Grant Hill, basically. The rest of the team would have been very, very, very mid. Fred Hoiberg, you want Fred Hoiberg in the video? Sorry, Shaq, you can make it. All right, so here we go. Game seven between some really legendary players, some of my favorite of all time. Let's see if who gonna win. Let's see who's gonna win. It's a close game, and that's we just wanted to be close so we can jump into it again. And this one is basically there. Tie game with a minute 40. Boom! See the story of the game right now. Rip Hamilton and Kobe are dominating. Mike Bibby also very efficient game so far. And on the other side, the Admirals having a good game. Reggie Miller has hit three threes, but that's pretty much it. All right. Stories of the game, minute and a half to go, tied up, winner goes to the conference finals to go against MJ and probably losing four. Kobe wants to go against MJ. You can tell by that aggression, big bucket from Kobe Bean Bryant. This is number eight Kobe, if you didn't know. He ain't even switched his number to 24 just yet. He's still in his prime. This is Froby. Froby. Here we go. Josh starts with the ball. Is the screen coming? No, he's trying to just beat Kobe off the dribble. Kobe don't really play that, or maybe he does. Foul, Kobe Bean Bryant, his second. Both free throws were made and um, tie game again. There's the screen. Mike Bibby gives it in to Kobe in the post. Kobe with the little hook. No good. Jermaine O'Neal is there, but he's going against the Admiral. He might want to think twice. He did it. Right up. 89% contested. Like, he's not even there. Two-point game again. Scotty, the point forward with the ball. Because they're not even running point guard, really. Is that That's Mitch Richmond and John Stark. So, yeah, it's, it's really Scotty Pippen's show. Here is the Admiral with the long turnaround, turnaround mid-range jumper. Boy, is really out there playing like it's the 90s. I respect it. You you take your era to this era if you need to. All right, here's Kobe. I would put um, the DPOY of the league, Scottie Pippen, on Kobe if I was men's in this team, but I'm not. And that's why. It's Kobe. And he can just dunk on you, on everybody. Look at that. That's not even nice, Kobe. I mean, I guess you're not trying to be nice to these people, but golly, Kobe. All right, here we go. John Starks with the ball. Y'all got to do something. Y'all got to do something. Who's on that bench that probably should be playing? Why do I feel like they're missing somebody? Oh, Muggsy Bowes is on the bench. Look how little he is. Scottie Pippen with the ball. Guarded by Sean Marion. Sean Marion's a great defender for his time. Here we go. David Robinson with another mid-range jumper. The left-hand shooter. The Admiral with his 2K generics. This team is so old. But they're still they still lay prime. They still lay prime. So I can't talk. But, like, I'm just looking at, like, Horace Grant and his goggles. Like, bro, your son is on one of these other teams right now. Or, or I guess your nephew. Your sons didn't make it. Your brother's sons made it. You know what I mean. Your nephews are in this Kobe. Oh, oh, flag? I thought it was going to be a flag. Or Mitch Richmond, hard foul, hard foul. Making Kobe earn it at the line with 15 seconds to go. Is Kobe have ice in his veins? The first one is up, and it is 100%. Basically a green release. The second one is going to be up, and Kobe in. Two-point game, 15 seconds to go. Here we go. Um, Who is that? Mark Jackson. Mark Jackson. All right, I can tell by his play style. Mark Jackson with the ball. Screen comes from Mitch Richmond over to Scotty for the lead. No good. Scotty misses the go ahead three. And with point two to go, yeah, that's not even enough to get a shot up. And they won't. And just like that, we just watched Kobe take his team to the promised land. Dirk was kind of just existing out there. I ain't see Dirk touch the ball other than that one rebound. And just like that, we do have our conference finalists done. What year produced the best NBA players? We are down to the wire. The last two teams. Is going to be the KG Timmy D team versus the four MVPs. And then on the other side, we got Kobe and Dirk versus um, three MVPs. Two MVPs versus three MVPs. That's, that seems like a, well, it's not fair because one is higher. But, you know, anybody can, can come out here and win this series, I believe. I think both teams have what it takes. It's a 2-2 series on this side. And that did not take long for the New York Knicks. This team did not give us an opportunity to watch them yet because they're just dominating. On the other side, we do get the game seven. Woo, we do get the game seven. Please be close. So far, we've got good luck with these close games. So far, we have pretty good luck. And this one is not that. Or is it? Or is two point, we're getting good luck, two point game. The Spurs are here. Are all of their guys on the court? 
No. Um, how about how about we look at the story of the game? Carl Malone and MJ. So they got four players with 20 points. On the other side, Kobe and Dirk have the 20. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Four point game now. Um, I'm look. MJ is not on the court. I don't think. Uh, yeah, MJ's not on the court. So that's fun for everybody involved. I don't know why the greatest ever wouldn't be playing in a game seven. He, oh, he's at the score table. They're at the score table. Don't worry. Just next day of ball, he'll get in. Just got to hope that the Spurs don't blow this game while um, they wait for the next day of ball. Hakeem is going right over everybody. He's just that nice. Uh, the greatest center of all time, if you ask me. The greatest center of all time, if you ask me. He's just that nice. Okay. Uh, Kobe and company, we seen what they did last game. They have all the ability in the world to fight back from down by four with a minute to go. A lot of it has to do with this man right here just being unstoppable. And there's his unstoppable ability right there. All right. Okay. Minute to go. They, they need them. They themselves need to stop. And if you need to stop, this is the unit you want to try to get the stop against. Because Chris Mullen, Carl Malone, and MJ are coming into the game next day of ball. There's a stop that they need it. There's a stop that they need it. All right. We got a game. Jermaine O'Neal pushing the pace. There's Rip Hamilton with the with the uh, the the mask, which we love. Pick and roll, Jermaine O'Neal. That's a bad shot. There's no such thing as a bad shot in this universe because all of these dudes are amazing. All of them are amazing. Your favorite player take that shot, they missing. But Jermaine O'Neal makes those. All right, 40 seconds to go. Terry Porter gives it in to Hakeem, and Hakeem, best footwork in the history of basketball. Maybe you you wouldn't be able to tell on this play. But he goes straight up. He missed it. His own board. This time, spin up and in. And there's the timeout. Oof. Calling the timeout right now is a little bit tough because it gives an opportunity to get Michael Jordan on the court. But, hey, here we go. I'm actually hoping that they score right here. Uh, they need Actually, they need to score. I need to see what MJ would do with the ball in his hands with uh, 20 seconds ago. So, get a bucket, Mike. Get a bucket, Mike. Or give it up to Kobe. Oh, Kobe versus MJ. Kobe versus MJ. We wanted this. Kobe. Kobe. Said weight room, little man. Kobe's been unstoppable. If MJ can't get the stop, nobody can get the stop. Let's be real. If MJ can't get the stop, then nobody can get the stop. Here we go. Here it is. Get, oh, man. This is everything we wanted and more. If MJ does not get this ball and they give it to Terry. Give up the ball, Terry. Give up the ball, Terry. Terry. Terry, give up the ball. Terry, give up the. Is he serious? You better. I. No way the last shot is going to Terry Porter. He gave it to Hakeem with three seconds to go. Hakeem scored it. I knew he was making that move. But I that's cool and all. I wanted to see MJ do it. I'm selfish. I wanted to see MJ versus Cole and MJ get his lick back. Instead, the Spurs are going to the NBA Finals um, because Greg Popovich always gives them an advantage. And uh, there you have four MVPs. Terry Porter is holding the trophy, not Michael Jordan. Are they serious right now? Yeah, a lot of bald men on this team now. I'm looking at a lot of bald men. So our NBA Finals is set. It is MVPs versus MVPs. Let me make sure I get my years right again so I can tell you the exact years that we're picking between. Russell Westbrook and company is 1988 versus 1963. 1988 versus 19, it's 1963. A long difference between these dudes. Different errors, different everything. So I'm going to simcast every single game because we need at least one close one to, to jump into. Game number one is not that close one. Um, it is a, a plethora of points for the New York Knicks. Steph Curry hit seven threes. KD hit two. Everybody got Even D, D. Rose hit three threes. Everybody got in on the three-point barrage in that game. The Spurs need to make it a, a mission to not give up that many threes. And like a game number two, they not doing that. Not a lot of threes being hit. Another blowout, but the other way. Game three. Close right now. Come on. Keep it that way. Keep it that way. We need at least one close one, and it's not this one. 13-point lead at that point. Ends up being a 20-point win for the New York Knicks. Eight made threes from Steph Curry. Sheesh. Then the Spurs come right back with another blow. This, this has been blowout after blowout. They switching sides, everything. It ain't, it ain't had one down to the wire game just yet. It's a 3-2 series lead of the Spurs. Another 20-point lead or another 20-point win. So far, 1962, right? Was that the year? I forgot already. Seems to be the year. And the Knicks will not go away. We love it. We love it. We're going to get a game seven. Even though this has not been a very... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One minute to go. I got to jump. You never know. You never know. One minute to go. Somebody can close this out right now. Somebody can close this out right now. I'm, I'm jumping in. I'm jumping in. Get who's who? Uh, who's a, who's ahead in the series. Now, the Spurs are. The Spurs are ahead in the series. So the Spurs can... Oh, DeAndre Jordan versus Hakeem. The Spurs can make something happen. They can win the series right now. Hakeem... Right up and over. This time he missed it. They are running a lineup of Russell Westbrook, Derrick Rose, Jeff Teague, and Steph Curry. 
Nice. Four point guards and DeAndre Jordan. That's no Kevin Durant. Russell Westbrook takes a heavily contested, 100% smother. Great defense from Joe Dumars. And Charles Barkley is on this team. Oh my God. I forgot. We completely forgot about Charles Barkley being on the team. There's a double team. They need a double team. No, the corner or Chris Mullen. Give it back to Hakeem. Thank you. Make the bring the double and find the open man, Hakeem. Beautiful basketball. That's beautiful basketball. That's beautiful basketball from the old heads. What? He he felt the double T coming. He found the open man, and Chris Mullen hits a tough, tough shot. And just like that, they have the lead in the game where they can win the series right here, right now. Here it is. Russell Westbrook with the ball. Nine seconds. Is it his team? He did win MVP this season. Steph Curry just came off the screen and was wide open. Four seconds. Three seconds. Two seconds. Is he serious? Is he serious? You're going to end the video off like that? That's how you're ending the video off, Russ? Oh, my God. I'm sick to my stomach. Kevin Durant sitting in the corner. Steph Curry opened on the screen. And Russ wants to take a heavily contested 30-foot jump shot. I'm, I'm done. What we found out is the team with Michael Jordan wins championships.